San Jose is a booming city in the heart of Silicon Valley. As the largest city in the Bay Area, it's no surprise that San Jose is a popular place to live. If you're thinking about buying a home in San Jose, there are a few things you should know first. In this video, we'll cover three things all home buyers should keep in mind when searching for homes in San Jose. San Jose is a home to over a million people. And if you're thinking about buying property and joining us here in the city, you must want to know what to expect. And I'm here to share. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Allison. I'm with the Selling Silicon Valley Group, and we help people buy and sell homes here in the Bay Area. So if there's anything you want to know when it comes to living anywhere in Silicon Valley, our team is here to help. We're getting dozens of phone calls and text messages every single day from people moving and relocating here. And we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking of moving anywhere in the San Francisco Bay Area or in Silicon Valley, make sure to call, text, email us. We're here to help. First thing I'm sharing for all of you prospective buyers out there, the housing market in San Jose is on the higher side of the market. Currently, you'll find median home prices starting at 1.2 million for a single family home. Recently, there's been a huge surge in the single family market and markets for townhomes and condos are competitive as well. But the available property types in San Jose are so varied, you have your choice of everything from mobile homes up to luxury estates with everything in between. So that price can go up or down depending on where you're looking and what you're looking for. The city is also working on developing more urban villages, which is an ongoing initiative to create more urban, mixed-use buildings that serve as both a workspace for businesses on the lower floors and residential spaces on the top floors. There truly are so many options here for you in the city, but again, note that prices may start high and they are getting higher. Now, for those of you relocating or moving here because of a job or to find a job, you're going to want to know about commute times. In the simplest of terms, your commute can be anywhere from a few minutes to possibly a few hours. It truly depends on where you're going to be working. If you're moving to San Jose because your job is in San Jose, that's awesome. That was my situation when I first started my business and my commute was no more than 15 minutes a day. So that is definitely the better and more sought after option. However, if you're living in San Jose and working outside of the city, then you're going to be joining the masses in traffic. And that means a longer commute because you'll be going with traffic out of San Jose in the mornings and then again coming into the city in the evenings. Now, there are public transportation options to explore. BART, which is the Bay Area's number one mode of public transportation, will take you literally anywhere you need to go within the Bay Area. And there's also Caltrain and VTA light rail. So you do have ways around sitting in traffic, but it means you'll have to plan a tight schedule and make sure you get on the stations on time. Commuting in San Jose can be rough, it's true, but with a population of over a million and growing, it's not impossible. Don't let it keep you from making San Jose your home. Next, I'm going to share just more of the minutiae of residential life in San Jose. Some of the everyday things to know about. Before buying in San Jose, it's great to know just what everyday life might look like. What can you expect once becoming a resident here? San Jose, for one, is super diverse. So no matter who you are and what your interests are, there is a place for you to fit in. There are so many neighborhoods and areas that are defined through its community like Willow Glen, downtown San Jose, Berryessa, Cambrian, South San Jose, and then some of the bigger cultural districts like Japantown, Little Saigon, or Little Portugal. Other things to take note of, schools here are really varied. We have some of the best and some of the not so great. So do your research if schooling is needed for you or your family. There's no shortage of private schools and so many avenues to choose from. San Jose is popular for a reason. Do you think it'll be your next hometown? There's a lot to consider before buying in San Jose, and we don't want you to go through it alone. So please feel free to reach out to us here at Selling Silicon Valley. We are more than happy to help you. Thanks for watching. At Selling Silicon Valley TV, we're here to bring you the latest tips, advice, and strategies on all things real estate in Silicon Valley. So for more videos like this one, go ahead and subscribe below and click the bell to get notified each time we post a video for you. And let us know what you're interested in seeing too. This is Allison with the Selling Silicon Valley Group, and I will catch all of you in the next video.